Hey everybody, it's Allie, the canine nutritionist from Padfoot Palms Poodles and Pals, and I am back today with another member question from our Facebook group. If you haven't already joined, link is down in the description box below. We'd love to have you, um, and you can get your questions answered by a canine nutritionist slash standard poodle breeder. So, Okay, let's get right to it. So the question is, this member is going to be bringing home uh, a new puppy to add to their family. Congratulations, by the way, that's always super exciting. And um, the breeder is currently feeding that puppy Royal Canaan puppy food. Now, if you know anything about canine nutrition, you know that the ingredients in that food are uh, absolute garbage. And you also know that it's incredibly high carb um, and it, it just is not a good food all around for a number of reasons. So this, um, the person who submitted this question also stated that they currently feed their other dogs at home a raw diet. Yay, super awesome. And they're wanting to know, can they transition the puppy to a raw diet because the breeder's only providing them with a week's worth of food. And of course, we don't want them to have to go out and buy, you know, the Royal Canaan. So what should she do? Well, we have a couple of options and it's really going to depend on how comfortable you are with diarrhea or loose stool. And it's perfectly okay. If it freaks you out, you're not comfortable with it. Um, for the most part, for your average pet owner, um, who, for example, maybe this would be their first pet, um, they don't have a lot of experience, or maybe they never had a puppy before, for them, I would recommend that they do a slow transition. Um, there are quite a few products that you can get um, that can help with a transition. You can get the, um, the pectin. They make little uh, chewables that you can get on Amazon. You can do pumpkin powder. You can do pumpkin. All of those things, uh, slippery elm powder capsules, all of those things will help transition your puppy to whatever the new food may be. For this specific example, it's a raw diet. Now, a week is, um, it's a pretty quick transition. Um, it, it really just depends on the puppy. Um, sometimes it can depend on the breed. Some breeds are more sensitive than others. But we can assume that because the breeder was feeding Royal Canaan, that this puppy has not been exposed to any other foods, right? We're, we're going to assume that this breeder is not very knowledgeable in nutrition and they haven't been providing their puppy with any kind of fresh foods. So we have a very limited microbiome in the puppy's gut. So we wanna make sure that we're providing them with as much support as possible. Now, one of the things that I do wanna say for those first time puppy owners, um, First time puppy owners have a tendency to freak out if their puppy has loose stool or diarrhea because they think it's parasites. Of course, I always recommend that you take your puppy to the vet as soon as you get it or the next day so that you can have them do a fecal exam and make sure you take um, a fecal sample from that morning with you, right? Very, very important. Um, it'll also save them from having to extract a fecal sample from your puppy, which is not fun for the puppy. So get a sample from recent and take it with you in a Ziploc bag. Your vet will thank you. Okay, now for those of us who are more versed in having a dog, like the person who um, submitted the question, she has multiple dogs. I would say that you should anticipate that you're going to need to transition this puppy quickly, right? Over the period of a week. I would just go ahead and suck it up and do it. Um, I would not go out and buy any Royal Canin product. Um, 
it just goes against my morals. So I don't recommend that you do it either. Um, strictly speaking, because you've had dogs before. Um, if you were a new puppy buyer, right, this was your first puppy, I would recommend that you keep them on the breeder's food for at least two weeks and try to talk the breeder into giving you more food. Um, but since you are an experienced dog owner, what I'm going to recommend you do is um, get on Amazon and go ahead and order. You can get powdered pumpkin. Um, there's a supplement called Firm Up, which has a couple of different components to it. That's a good one to use. Um, and just go ahead and start supplementing your puppy right away. And then understand that because you're transitioning the food, a, you need to have a vet appointment for your puppy anyway. B, you're going to want them to run a fecal exam. And C, when they ask you about how your puppy's doing, if they ask you how's the stool or you bring in a sample that is soft, explain to them, hey, I'm transitioning the puppy to be feeding, you know, so the puppy's eating the same thing my adults are. The other thing you need to do if you're purchasing a commercial raw product is you need to make sure that it is one that is designed for puppies, right? Because puppies have different nutritional requirements than adults. So you just want to take a look at that label, make sure that um, it's appropriate for a puppy. If you're using a complete and balanced recipe, for example, I have a bunch of them um, in the file section of my group. You want to make sure that you're choosing a recipe that is specifically for puppies. Um, on some of my recipes, you'll see some of them say adult slash puppy. That means you can feed it to either or. Um, it's just gonna be important so that they are getting everything that they need right, to grow up to be awesome puppies. So I hope that this helps you. I'm going to link some products in the description box below. And I can't wait to see pictures of your new puppy. Okay, we'll see you in the next nutritional nugget. Have a good one.